All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another installment of Let's Go Elk Softball. We are here from uh, Round Valley Elk Stadium. Lady Elk's hosting Ganado Hornets today. As we are getting ready to start, we just enjoyed the national anthem. Everybody's getting warmed up, set, and ready to go. Walker is warming up from the circle today. She will be pitching. Lily. A good Friday edition of softball, huh? Yes, beautiful warm weather. Little sun or a little windy, but I still think it's beautiful. Yeah, you know it is just a little windy. I spring in the White Mountains. Coldest winter I ever spent was spring in the White Mountains. All right, so Kyrie's getting our start in the circle. Tay on a behind the plate. Tay at first, Shiloh at second, Kayla at short. Allison Muth at third, Emily Muth in left, uh, Merrick in center, and Macy in right. Dan, do you have their lineup already entered, or am I going to have to work on that as we go? No, we're going to have to work on that as we go. Right. I do have to switch sides because we were scheduled as the away team, but since the venue changed... Um, so I'll just get them as they come up. All right. So first up to bat is number three, Lauren, who is the second baseman. As we wait for her. So while we're waiting, if you are watching today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you're notified of all the live events. Also like and share so your friends can also watch. All right, looks like we're ready to play ball. First pitch, high. Ball one. Pitch. Strike one looking. One one count. So as you're watching, the wind's coming across the field left to right. Probably what, about 20 maybe? So that'll affect the outfielders. Swinging strike. One two count. We got a little different view on the camera today. Let us know how you like it. Pitch. 
Inside, we'll two two count. The boys are playing as well today, correct? Correct, against Ganado. They won't, uh, they played yesterday against Mini Farms, won that. Little high, full count. Do the girls, JV, have a game today? No. They don't play again. And they play on the 20th. They travel to Joe City on the 20th and play. Is that their last game of the season? No, they'll play on senior night as well. Strike three, swinging for out number one. So, against St. John's on the 22nd, they'll play. And this is going to bring up number four, Leilani, up to bat. Strike one, looking. One, one count. So Ganado number two in our region at this time. I'm only going to assume we're number one. We are. So. Goes us, Ganado, and then St. John's. Just going to wear that one. So number four is going to take her place at first base. You could hear the smack through my headphones. You know those hurt. <laughs> Whether lot. it's cold or not, they hurt. Yep. So things a little bit different today. We do not have a field mic because I left it in the office. <laughs> That's why it's so quiet. Yeah. So the atmosphere mic is snug and warm and comfortable in my office waiting for me to return. Number 10 here batting. Foul ball out of play. The quest continues to replace Allison's bat. Just let everybody know I have not been successful in finding one. In case you're interested. I guess she told uh, Anna that she loved her bat the other day. Wild pitch by Kyrie in the dirt. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, I. She uh, she dropped the hints around the house. <laughs> so. Inside. Two one count. Yeah, the issue isn't whether or not I was willing to. It's just you can't find them. Mm -mm. You know, everybody made those last minute purchases for the summer, so now we're gonna have to wait. Uh, check with underground bats. I will. That's one side I haven't tried. That's where we got on us. Okay. So full count. Got a runner at second on a wild pitch and a uh, hit by pitch. One down. Full count to the batter. That's on the inside corner for strike three looking. Two down. Batter takes a spot in the box. Inside corner, little outside, he says. Ball one. Yeah, that was over the chalk. From where I'm sitting. Oh, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty pitch. Batter shakes her head, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's hard <laughs> to argue with that one. Just a quick poll looking at batters. There are a lot of Louisville users. I guess Easton is no longer the... The sought-after bat? Guess not. So 2-1 count to the batter? Well, they're a little brittle. They wear out quick. And for the money, you just they're not cost-effective. Their good bats are just not cost-effective. A little low. In and Anna's going to throw down to Shiloh. 
Shiloh's going to throw. She's way out of the baseline, so <laughs> she's called out there. So Anna catches her sleeping, gets stuck in the middle there, and runs out of the baseline for out number three. The batter, number 12, will come back to the bat, uh, box in the top of the second inning. All right, so that's going to take us into the bottom of the first inning. Okay, so let, let's get me caught up. Who's the catcher? The catcher is number 12. Number 12. And the pitcher? 18. And I'm going to have to add her. Okay. Number 18. Well, go ahead and add. All right, first base. Through uh, 10. 10. Second. Three. That's working out. Shortstop. You're going to have to add her 13. Okay. And third. Add her number nine. Okay, left field. Four. Ah. Center field. Add eight, or number one. Number one? Yep. And right. Number two. Number two. So starting off for your Lady Elks will be Shiloh McCall, then followed by Emily Muth, Kayla Logan, Anna Ariola, Tay Walker, Merrick Newby, Allison Muth, Montana Westbrook in as DP, and Macy Sotoquist. Those that will be your batting lineup. I was a little dismayed to hear that we were having so much trouble picking up a game between now and the state tournament. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? No one wants to play these girls. Foul ball. Strike one, so or strike two. In uh, the back seat of my truck, on the driver's side, underneath the seat, there's gauze. Ball. One, two count. Shyla moved over to the right side. Foul ball. One, two count to Shiloh. I cannot decide if I'm warm or cold. Two, two count. Getting her sign. That's going to be a pop-up. It is going to be out of play. The pitch, a little low, full count. little low that's going to be a walk for Shiloh and that will bring up Emily oh and for the record I still don't like that song <laughs> for the record I don't think it's changing Dan yeah I know I'm pushing water uphill but I'm gonna keep trying
caught stealing a Shiloh at second. And count is 1-0 to Emily. That's going to be oh. a little blooper over to second base, and she catches it for out number two. And that brings up Kayla to bat. Ball. Ball two. Getting her sign. Pitch. That is gone. What is she swinging? That is way gone. That is her new bat. What is that? That is the... Uh, was it ma mantra? Mantra? Who who builds that? Uh, Rawlings. So Kayla with the solo home run. Wow. Might have to give that one a look. I know it's pretty popular in the college circles. Well, that's what um, Aloe swings. Oh, there you go. That explains it. These are all blank. I know. They all came <laughs> flying off of there. And a high fly ball. That one is going to be collision in the outfield. Anna continues to come. She's up at third. So left and center converging together for the ball collide. Do we or don't we? And we have a courtesy runner coming in for Ticey. Did they touch it? All I saw was running, rolling around in the grass. Lisa and I have to get our heads together. You'll have together. to talk about that one watch it again. See if she got it, yeah. Right now I'm just going to score the triple and we'll see if we have to change it. So Tay up to bat. Ticey at third. And that's going to be another high fly ball. Center field coming in on it. Makes the catch for out number three. And that umpire loves to walk out and just stand. Right, right in the baseline. <laughs> well, right in my way to where I can't see. He did that last time, too. All right. So we are going to be moving into the top of the second inning. Round Valley on top, 1-0. Well, I can only imagine the conversation in the dugout right now. Two years ago, Rawlings, when we were at the College World Series. Uh huh. Rawlings had a tent, and uh, they were they had some prom demos of those. Uh huh. And they were encouraging girls to try them out, and I was begging Emily and Allison, let's go in there and swing it. No, it's not as good as the ghost. Nothing's better than the ghost, you know. <laughs> and this was no shoot. This was three years ago. Yeah, because Emily was. Uh, it was right after her sophomore season. Or maybe a freshman season. Anyway, so yeah, we were, <laughs> you know, it was all about the ghost then. All about the ghost. And, you know, I could hear the way the ball was coming off that bat. And I was thinking, man, maybe we got to take a look. And then I never saw him again. And now all of a sudden you're starting to see him come. I was starting to see more and more of him in the college games. I'm thinking. Mm -mm. Should have got that one, huh? Okay, <laughs> so number 12 back up to bat. 
I don't know if we should have made the purchase then, but I think it might be worth a look now. You know, since Allison's in the hunt. Strike one on the inside corner. Looking. You know, because now buying a bat is like investing in a car or a house. You know. Yeah. You know, you got to take it seriously. You don't just run to the drugstore anymore. That's going to be a change-up high fly ball. Emily moving towards it. Comes off the tip of her glove. And in the process, process Merrick passes her in the outfield. So the runner is going to make her way to third. Okay, that did come off Muth's glove. So that, that one did. will be an error on Muth, unfortunately. It's the one thing we got to look for. And where we were sitting, the ump was right in our way last time. All I saw was the collision. And that brings number one up to bat. Okay. That's going to be a foul ball. ball pretty nice action off of the <laughs> two by six strike oh <laughs> almost one two count That's going to be to Kyrie at the mound. Kyrie over to Tay. Tay gets the out at first. Holds the runner at third. Yeah, Kyrie looked her back first and then went for the out at one. And then Tay tagged the bag and then immediately looked to third to see if they could get her on the pick. So number nine up to bat now. Pitch, foul ball out of play. I can't believe we've got one regular season game left. Season went by fast. It did. Strike looking on the inside corner. Our last game will be our last home game. Will be against St. John's next what Friday? Friday. And that'll be senior day, senior, senior night. Senior night, two well, senior afternoon, two o'clock. Strike three. And with any luck, the good Lord will give us some good weather. So out number two, runner still on third. That's gonna bring up number eighteen to bat. And that's going to be a Kayla making the play over to Tay. Got a throwing error there. And that will bring a run in. So Kayla making up good ground to stop the ball in the infield, but not able to make the play over to Tay. And that will bring up number 13. 1-1 one, one score, top of the second. Inside corner, strike one. Ball, one, one count. Little high, two one count. Inside corner, two two count.
Little low, full. And here comes the pitch. Outside corner for out number three. So a 1-1 one, one ball game as we retire the side going into the bottom of two. Round Valley with the run, Ganado with the run. I don't know, Lily, but I'm getting the sense that Ravel is coming in just a little flat yes. today. Same. I'm just kind of watching over here in the dugout, seeing what the vibe is. I think they're still asleep, to be honest. So defensively, we will remain the same in the bottom of the second inning. And we are going to have Merrick up to bat first this inning. Yep. Pitch outside, 1 0 count. Do we have any idea? Well, they're Ganado's number two in our region, but do we know what their record is? I can go check that out, Dan. So 1 1 count to Merrick. Ganado is six and three, eighteenth in the standings. One two count to Merrick. A little low, two two count. Up and out of play. Two two count. Hey, where it is, not where you want it. Sorry. Give it some <laughs> encouragement. <laughs> Little high. Full count. Little high, ball four. Yeah, that's ball four. Ball four? <laughs> yeah, the the issue with that at bat, and the reason I had to go silent for a second, even though I wasn't very quiet, was <sighs> our batters are getting impatient. They need to relax a little bit. So Allison at the plate now. Runner on, no outs. Foul ball. Ouch. Well, that came straight back off the bat. Now, whose lumber is she using now? Is that Tay's bat? Don't know. Little high, 1-1 one, one count. Oh, she's going to throw that ball, ladies. Don't. Just assume she's going to be sleeping back there. Shiloh found that out the hard way. Even though I don't know about, well, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to. 
Got a slide on those. Got a slide. That's all I'm going to put in there, my two cents. 2-1 count to Allison. I, I thought she was there, though. But anyway. That's a nice line drive down foul. the line. Foul. Right off the line. I mean, but what? A foot, foot and a half off the line in left field. So Allison with 22 count. Outside corner. Ooh. Throw was there, but second shortstop missed it. So okay, I we can get Merrick over to second, and we got a full count. Allison with a high fly ball. It's gone, and it off the batting cage in the outfield for a two-run home run. Baby Cakes with the dinger. So, Round Valley takes the lead 3-1 here in the bottom of the second inning. And that is going to put Montana up to bat. Which poses the question, will today be the day? <laughs> We've all been quietly hoping that Westbrook would come through with a dinger before the season was over. Will today be the day? Stay tuned. Strike one swinging. It's going to be a little blooper. Oh, pitcher dives pitcher. for it. Nice play by the pitcher for out number one of the inning. Yeah, a great heads up play by the pitcher. Getting, <laughs> diving in to catch that. Yes, it is okay to smile after a play <laughs> like that. That was some good defense, pitcher. All right, Macy steps into the box. No one on, one out. If I had if I made a play like that, I'd be smiling too. <laughs> High swinging. Strike one. See what I mean about the batters? They're mm -hmm. just they just got to sit on that ball just a little bit. O2 oh, count. High fly ball. It's going to be trouble. Short stop. Short. Makes oh. the catch behind the third baseman. And that's going to bring Shiloh up at the top of the lineup with two outs. The wind just hung that up, allowing the shortstop to get over there. I was kind of hoping the wind would blow it back and blow, and blow it behind her, but it didn't. Darn it. All right, so... Getting the pitch inside. Oh, inside oh. corner. Yeah, he. Oh, one count. Oh, hit <laughs> Shiloh in the stomach. She takes her way down to first. That's what you call coming way inside <laughs> on a brush back pitch. So with Shiloh on, hopefully Muth will be productive. She's been lagging a little bit here in the last couple games. We'll see what she can do here. Oh. So Shiloh caught stealing again. This inning, that will bring uh, Emily Muth back up to the plate in the bottom of the third. Well, I, 
I know technically it scored as a caught stealing, but the problem was is that was a hit and run, and Muth didn't make contact and left her out there hanging. And that's, yeah, well. <laughs> All right, so we are heading to the top of the third inning. Round Valley leading 3-1. Defensively, we will remain the same this inning. It'll be uh, number two will be leading us off this inning. Number two and then back to the top of the lineup. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a conversation after today's game, I guarantee you. Right, so ball's in, the throw down, and number two coming to the plate. All right, so Kyrie getting ready here for her pitch. Little high, oh, uh, one oh count. That was ball one. Yes. Ball two. Strike one swinging, 2-1 count. Pitch, high, 3-1 count. And ball four. And that takes us to the top of the Ganado lineup. Low, ball one. That's strike one looking, one one count. <laughs> Foul ball, one two count. I, I heard that. <laughs> uh, I can't, yeah. Uh, the nuance of the game. First base coach for Book. Runner's going to go on this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 2-2 two, well, two count. Was thinking exactly the same thing. The first <laughs> base coach for Ganado is pretty animated over there. He's Inside corner strike three looking. Out number one. That brings up number four. Yeah, you know, it's pretty apparent that both teams, based on just what I'm seeing from the coaches' reactions to things, both teams are not playing to their full potential today is is the sense I'm getting because things are kind of quiet, a little tense. Strike one swinging. As we are here in the top of the third inning. 
We need a catchy name for our field. The school district needs to name our field. Inside, 1-1 one, one count. Don't you think? Yeah, we don't. Tornado, tornado Stadium. <laughs> 3 1 count. Our 3 1 lead round valley in the top of the third inning. We got a 1 2 count and one out runner at first. Oh, Carla says Dust Devil Alley. Well, I was thinking. <laughs> That's going to be a foul ball. I was thinking maybe name it after one of our uh, record-making softball players over the history of the program. You know, Dan, I was thinking about that. They've been posting all the records for track being broke. I wonder where they have all the records for softball. You know, I really don't know, but I can tell you the time. When I was in high school, uh, the girls that were in my senior class and the girls that were a year or two behind me, those were some ball players, and I know that there had to be some records broken because after I graduated, change they, up, 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 up. Yeah, after I graduated, they went on and took state. I think in ninety or ninety one. Okay. Somebody will have to. If Kara Dobson's out there listening, you'll have to correct me on that because I do believe she was on that team. So one two count continues for the batter. Foul ball again. Head coach of that team, I believe, was Willis Hawes. Julie Allen was his assistant. For a little bit of Round Valley Lady Oak trivia. Softball trivia. Change up, and that's oh. going to be in play. Allison over to Shiloh for the fielder's choice and getting the lead runner for out number two. And... I would argue there was a little bit of runner interference with Shiloh bumping her as she's trying to make the throwback to first, but nobody's going to worry about it. All right, so that brings up number 10, runner at first. Two down. Uh, Strike one swinging. Ball and play fielder's choice, not a ground ball to first. Come on, Muth, get it right. The pitch, change up, strike, two, swinging. Yeah, these girls are definitely wanting to put the ball in play. They are not just going to sit there and take. Inside. Very disciplined these batters are. Huh? So one, two count to the batter. Strike three, looking on the outside corner for out number three. So we will head into the bottom of the third inning. Leading off, well, Emily will come back with her at bat. She'll get to complete her at bat after the blown hit and run call in the previous inning. And I, you know, the girls just need to relax and remember this is a game and have fun. I, To me, they look tight, and they're just not... They're not loud like they normally are. No, they're. I don't know what's going on. They're either half asleep or they're they're tight or I I don't know. You know, and the, there was a little bit of this going on Tuesday, and I thought, well, maybe they're just cold. But I'm almost wondering now if we aren't getting into that part of season where they want to, you know, they want to protect their win streak. They want to protect where they are in the rankings. They're starting to worry about. Everything. The state tournament, and it's the end of the school year. I mean, I, you know, I'm not going to argue that my little girls have a bad habit of thinking of everything and worrying about everything all at the same time. Yes. But they do have the propensity to do so. So Emily coming up to bat now. Hey, here we go, five. 
Relax like, and just swing the bat, kid. Have like fun. to thank those sponsors that were rolling across your screen there between half innings. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to take away from that. No, you're fine. That's a nice line drive for Emily, but yeah, no. right to the right fielder. <laughs> nice hit, but nice defense as well. <laughs> she didn't have to move too far. So Kayla coming up to the box. Boy, that is a bright blue, blueberry-looking bat. Gonna have to call that the juice stick after that inaugural dinger. Oh. Nice line drive to left field. Gonna go off the left fielder's glove. So Kayla with a single and then advances on the air by the left fielder over to third base. And that's going to bring Anna up to bat. <laughs> Little low. One zero -oh count. Two zero -oh count. <laughs> oh, nice hard line drive right back up at the pitcher for a single RBI, bringing in Kayla. Courtesy runner Ticey Walker going in for the catcher Ariola. And that is going to bring Tay Walker up to bat. Tay Lynn Walker. Oh, she was using Tay's bat. That's what she was doing. She was using Tay's. Little low. 1 0 -oh count. High, 2 0 -oh count, one down. Here in the bottom of the third inning, 4 1 lead for Round Valley. Strike one, swinging. 2 1 count. Oh. Nice line drive by Tay back up the middle. Comes off the catch, the center fielder, but she's able to get to it quickly. Vancing Ticey over to second. Tay at first, and that's going to bring Merrick up to bat. Yeah, did you see the curve on that line drive <laughs> single? <laughs> it went out over the shortstop and then curved into center field. My hat's off to the center fielder being able to keep it in front of her. I, I lost track of it. I didn't know where it was going. A little outside. So catch the catcher opts to throw back to first base to keep Tay at first. And at the process, Ticey's able to advance on the defensive indifference. So we got runners on the corners. 1-0 count to Merrick. Inside. 2-0 count. Nice hit by Merrick into left field. That's going to be an RBI single for Merrick, bringing in Ticey Walker. We got runners on first and second with Allison Muth up to bat. 5-1 game, Round Valley. Bottom of three. Oh. Strike one swinging. She knew it, too. <laughs> you can tell when she does that little head shake thing. <laughs> and look at that smile. She knows. She knows. She knows. Foul ball, 0-2 count. 
Hey, let it travel, kid. You got this. Sorry, Lily, I didn't mean to shout in your ear. <laughs> You're all right. That is, is going to be is it? Is it? gone. Oh, Three that's run two. home run for Allison. So that's going to make it an 8-1 lead, Round Valley, with one out, and Westbrook in the box. Looks like we have a time called by the coach for Ganado. All right, hang on a second. Tana, Tana, get you one. Get one. I'm trying, she hey, says. Don't, don't for, hey, hey, don't forget. All right. Giving some encouragement to Montana. So the batter is, or the pitcher is going to stay in. Yeah, I, you know, you hate to punish a pitcher because girls are making contact with the ball. I mean,. <laughs> Sometimes there's just good offense and sometimes there's just good defense. I don't know that it can really be hung on one particular player. But I'm not really paying attention to pitch placement because I'm blocked out. So. <laughs> oh, Ooh, ouch. Ball comes right back at the pitcher, drops in front of her, able to pick it up and make the play at first in time for out number two. That's going to bring Macy up. Yeah, that's one that makes you cringe a little bit. Only because... <laughs> only because a pitcher was just right there. I mean... Good job of getting her glove up there. All yeah. right, so Macy's in the box. Two down. That, that ball came off that bat hard. Strike one for Macy. I've got 8-1. I don't know where the scoreboard dropped that, one. That's where I've got to. So. I wonder if they scored Allison's two RBIs and forgot to score her. And there's a pop fly to center field. Center and field for out number three. So, Round Valley will start at the top of the lineup here at the top of, or in the bottom of the fourth inning. We're heading to the top of the fourth inning, and Dan, let's show some love to those sponsors. Yes, ma'am. Good call. So number 12 up to bat for Ganado. We back on. We back up. We're good. So I try to get resituated. Lisa got whoever's over there running the scoreboard. Got us all caught up. Yeah, I figured she'd be on top of that. Ooh. Foul ball. Nice hard swing by the batter here. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. I, I'm just going to say it. It's been unspoken so far, but I'm going to say it. I think our girls looked at this game and...
took some things for granted that they shouldn't have and now have realized, no, they're going to play, and we got to get back in the saddle. Yep. 1-1 one, one count to the batter. That's going to be hit down the first baseline. <laughs> Tay snags it, tops her base at the same time for out number one. Yeah, so out at one with a little 3-3 three, three action on the hard ground ball. That little girl wanted to, she put some power behind that swing. And this is number one up to bat? Yes. She grounded out to the pitcher, her first at bat. Inside, ball one. Strike one swinging, one one count. That's a chilly breeze right there. Yeah. It is that time of year. Foul ball, a one two count. Walker offering just enough from the circle to keep the batter swinging with no runners on, one out. One ball, two strikes on uh, number one for Ganado. There's Change up and oh, <laughs> two, two count. That was a great pitch by Kyrie. <laughs> that was a good looking change up. <laughs> but apparently not good enough. And strike three. But Walker coming right back at her with the rise ball. And that's going to bring up number nine with one out. Number nine batting for Ganado. Who is this? Number nine. Number nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have... No? Kayara. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where we... Yeah. Foul ball. 1-1 one, one count. Strike on the inside corner with the changeup. One, two count. Hi, two, two count. Change up, oh. strike out number three for out number three on the change up. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> Kyrie's change up is wonderful today. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. I and batters just get sucked in by that pitch. And I have to, you know, that is a, that is Kyrie's signature pitch. That rise or the uh, change, change up. up. None better, in my opinion, as far as change-ups go. I've seen a lot of girls throw change-ups, but Kyrie's is just... Spot on. Yeah, I'm almost speechless because it is so rarely that she misses with that pitch that you're just kind of stunned, you know. Well, like a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your Lady Elks are going to start at the top of their lineup here in the bottom of the fourth inning with Shiloh leading us off. Hey. A 
was like right at me and stuff. <laughs> I had one earlier from Kyrie, the same p- spot. All right, so Shiloh going to lead us off here. lead here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Round Valley looking to add some more runs to that. Baseball game over there next door. 2-1 Round Valley in the fifth inning. Shiloh with the slap over to shortstop. Goes under the shortstop's glove in no man's land out there. uh, Center field comes in on it. Leave Shiloh over at first. I think Shiloh would have beat that out, Dan. Oh, she would have. Yeah, she would have. So, single for Shiloh. And that's going to bring Emily up to bat. The only question in my mind would have been scoring the extra base had she got it. But I don't, the shortstop never touched it. So, still, there's. (laughs) Went right under her glove. Yeah, it goes under her glove. You can't, you're not going to punish the batter for that. But again, those are the ones that generate conversation between Lisa and I before the official scores are added. So. <laughs> yeah, and that was good placement by Shiloh, so that was in. She would have made it to first no matter what on that. Foul so. ball for Emily, 1-1 one, one count. Booger. That's her name now, Booger? Booger. Okay, well. Wow. Enough to Inside pitch, 2 1 count. Hey, here we go, kid. She offers Shiloh over on the stolen base. Yeah, a little button run action, and she uh, she offered missed, and Shiloh did reach second. So 2-2 two, two count to Emily. Runner now in scoring position. Little high full count. Shiloh with a stolen base. 3-2 count. Strike three, swinging. And that's going to bring Kayla up to bat. One down. Runner at second. High fly balls. Left, right fielder coming in on it. And makes the catch. Shiloh tags up and makes it over to third. So Kayla advances the runner. We now have two down. Runner at third. Anna up to bat. 8-1 lead for Round Valley here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball one. Interesting. Game changer won't let me credit the sack fly, I guess, because... She didn't score. She wasn't in scoring position. Yep. And that's gone. Two-run home run for Anna. Yeah, well hit ball going out into center field. So we have... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight of our ten runs have been on home runs so far. And that's going to bring Tay up to bat. And that is what, the fourth today? Fourth home run of the game. Allison with two, Allison. Kayla with one, Tay, or uh, Anna, with, Anna one. with one, and Tay coming up to bat. Tay says, I want to get a piece of this too. Let me in. Yeah. Set up way outside on that. (laughs) 
opting to pitch way outside to Tay. 2-0 count. Again, setting up way on the outside corner. Brings it back inside, though, for a strike one looking. 2-1 count. Inside corner looking, 2-2 two -two count. Tay with the smile on her face. Yeah. <laughs> Full count. Nice rocket down third base. Third baseman in the area just puts her glove down and hopes that it goes in it. It does. She makes the play over to first for out number three. Yeah, I don't know if she was as much trying to field that ball as she was protecting, <laughs> protecting herself <laughs> with her glove. Yes, I agree. So, Dan, <laughs> we're going to go into the top of the fifth inning here uh, with a 10-1 lead for Round Valley. And while we are... <laughs> Sorry, I stopped where I was. Player on the field saying if that would have came at me, I would have peed in my pants. <laughs> uh, we're going to give some love to those sponsors. No, I need to go get me a rototiller, so I'm heading over the. see if I can scrounge me one up. If anybody's got one for sale, give me a call. It's number 18 in the box. As soon as this game's done, we're going to head down to the Gila Valley and see family for the weekend. Got a cousin down there and a I'll enjoy with it. the family. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful down oh, there yeah. this weekend. So 1-0 count to the batter. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah. The way these girls are swinging that bat, <laughs> all they need to do is get a hold of one. <laughs> that thing will come down at the park in St. John's. Foul ball. So 1-2 count to the batter. Here in the top of the fifth. No out. Two two count. All right, so the count's full. I believe so. Yeah. Let's see here what the batter does. Foul ball. Ganado's coach looking to grab that. It comes off the fence hot. I, why even put your hand down? <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt way too much. That's good for just broken fingers. What? Why are we popping? I imagine it's got something to do with our power connection over in the dugout. Is all I can think of. So ball four. Runner takes her base, and that's going to bring up number 13 to bat. So I look at this as a good news, bad news. 
Good news is we're probably going to go to seven innings. Bad news is, Lily, oh. you're not going to get an early start. It's all right. We had to wait for baseball anyway. Oh, that's true because of now. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, no, that wasn't a ball. That was a – she swung and missed, didn't she? She did. On the button run. Ooh, nice spot. So, 1-1 one, one count. I've got 1-1. One, one. The board's got 2-0. and oh. I have 1-1 one, one in my head as well. 2-1 count. I think they missed that first pitch. I think they thought it was a ball. That's oh. a strike. Oh. So, 2-2 two, two count. Full count. Get her. That's ball four. No, that's a full count. Oh, it is three and two. No, Kayla didn't tag her. Did Kayla not tag she her? She did not tag her. Didn't attempt the tag. So, I don't know. I say that's a defensive indifference there because the field ump is yelling ball four. So, Kayla does not attempt the tag. I What? That's strike three on the inside corner for out number one. I, I'm still trying to... It wrapped my head around what happened. So sh the runner thought it was ball four, so she just takes off. Anna throws it to Kayla. The ump, fill, the ump is calling ball four in the field. So Kayla, so doesn't, Kayla tag. doesn't tag her. So that's a defensive, you know. I don't know. That's a defensive indifference, in my opinion. Or interference by, by the, the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> Number two up to bat. That's going to, she's going to wear that. Yeah, so hit by a pitch, I'll send the runner back to second. That will bring up number three, who struck out swinging and then struck out looking her last two at-bats. She's the top of the lineup for Ganado. That's correct. Yeah, very, very strange happenings going on here in the fifth inning. I... Probably a good reason to call time and just settle everybody down. Say, okay, look, people, we need to focus here. And I think both coaches are feeling that way because you had that runner just walking across there with three balls. I mean, I'm sure Ganado didn't anticipate that either, even though the field umpire is <laughs> – I don't know what game he's watching, but he's not watching this one. All right, so both teams putting their players back in position to continue play. Okay, so here we go. So Ganado's got a runner at first and second, number three up to bat, one down, 10-1 lead, Round Valley here in the top of the fifth inning, and the pitch is on its way. That's going to be a strike looking for 0-1 count. Strike two, swinging. A little high, one, two count. The pitch. Strike three for out number two. 
And that's going to bring up number four to bat. And let's see here. She grounded out to third on a, or she grounded out on a uh, fielder's choice. Strike one swinging. So Ganado with the runner on first and second. Foul ball. <laughs> oh, 2 count. And the pitch. Inside, 1 2 count. That's going to be a line drive to Tay. Tay is going to tag third, and that will be out number three. So Ganado leaving a couple runs stranded that inning, and we will head to the bottom of the fifth inning. I believe Merrick's up to bat, Dan? That is correct. All right. So we're going to show some more love to those sponsors. So Ganado here with the throwdown. And Merrick coming to the plate. So something Dan and I were talking about while we were um, giving some love to those sponsors is Round Valley only needs one run here for a game to be called. So let's see if they're able to do that. Will there be a walk-off? Stay tuned. <laughs> Foul ball for Merrick. 0-1 count. Merrick with the nice line drive over to left field is going to be a single. And that's going to bring Allison up. Can Allison get three on the day? I, I'm not going to even say. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm not going to guess. But I have a feeling that her choice in bats is going to change. <laughs> So, 1 0 count. A little low. 2 0 count. Catcher comes off. Ooh, Merrick doing a great job at diving at the back of the bag there. The throw was in time. 
Great placement on that dive for Merrick. 3-0 count to Allison. I like this aggressive Ganado catcher. Kind of reminds me of somebody else I know. She did a great job coming out of that stance, out of the... Well, even after the pitcher pulled her way out of position, right. she still... Made that throw down there. So Allison gets the walk. Looks like right here we are going to blow our DP, correct? Yes, we will be dropping the DP. And that's going to put <laughs> Kyrie out to bat. <laughs> Stop, Dan. <laughs> that just struck me. That struck me funny. As I giggle like a schoolgirl. All right, here we go. Oh. High fly ball out of play, and that looks like Coach's truck. Nope, nope. not quite. Yeah, you can hit Darren's truck. Don't hit mine. So a one count to Kyrie. Outside. <laughs> Got a double still there. One one count to Kyrie. Runners at second and third. Outside corner looking. One, two count. Strike three swinging for out number two. Is that out number two or one? It's only one. Okay, I was after I said two, I got thinking and Little high for Macy there. 1 0 count. <laughs> 2 0 count. How did I get it? Nice pitch. 2-1 count. Hitting the wrong boutons. Macy with a high fly ball out of play. 2-2. Two, two. One down. We are here in the bottom of the fifth inning. 10-1 lead. Runners on second and third. Foul ball. <laughs> right at coach. And everybody ducking. Another foul ball out of play. Did that hit a car? No, it actually hit the uh, pole. Electrical pole. <laughs> High fly ball, center fielder, short stop, second baseman coming in. Second baseman makes the play for out number two. That's going to bring Shiloh up to bat. Shiloh so two down, two on, second and third, both in scoring position. We just need one run across here. A little low. High 2 0 count. <laughs> 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 
That's going to be hit to the shortstop. Shortstop fumbles it, and that's going to score the run on the air. And that should be game. That is Blue Calls ball game. So your Lady Elks come out victorious against Ganado here at home. 11-1 lead and score at the end of, actually, in the fifth inning. Shiloh hits it. Could have pushed the game into six, but the shortstop makes the air. So, Dan, with that being said. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, catch us next week, Friday at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock for Senior Night here in Round Valley, our last home game next Friday. Mark your calendars. Uh, set a reminder for yourselves to join us for Lady Elk Senior Night softball against Apache County rival St. John's. It will be a home game here. So, yeah, join us. And with so, that being said, <laughs> yeah, so, as I tongue tie myself. Uh, on behalf of Let's Go Elks, we thank our sponsors. Without you, there could be no us. Let's Go Elks is Zero Luck Live Production. I'm Dan Muth. And Lily Ariella. And have we're a, out. Have a happy Easter. Happy yeah. Easter. <laughs>